the sky. What's going on guys? Welcome to this week's meal prep. It's a special edition. It is crock pot cooking with Chef Jeff. I'm trying out that name. You guys let me know what you think. I'm not a chef though. So if you see my techniques, they are not what a normal chef would do. More than likely. So please don't think I'm calling myself a chef. But Chef Jeff is in the kitchen. So this prep will probably be good for like, you know, college kids in a dorm. Like you can get yourself two crock pots and you'd be done. Well. I mean, I'm using two crock pots. You could get away with one, but it's gonna take longer. So I'm gonna use two crock pots for this prep. Um, if you just wanna like, you know, prep it and then go out of the house and you got stuff to do, run errands, work out, whatever the case may be, it's supposed to take, you know, the recipes set anywhere from like four to eight hours. So obviously if you cook it on low, it's gonna take about eight hours. If you cook it on medium or high, it'll take about four to six hours. So really, you can just kind of prep it cook it and go. Simple. That's what this one's focused on. Also, I'm gonna do this one a little differently and I'm not going to show, well, I'm gonna show all my groceries, but I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about the groceries that I get every single week. I'm just gonna talk about the groceries that I have to prep. So for example, this week it's gonna be chicken, a chicken meal and a beef meal. So I'm gonna show everything I need for the chicken meal, everything I need for the beef meal. And then I'll give you a receipt, it'll show the receipt, and it'll also show the price, all the groceries. Hopefully that helps. Let's get into the groceries. Like I said, I'll still point out the, gro or the other groceries. So I got some almond milk. I have two containers of almond milk. Two. And it's like 8.30 at night and I'm prepping. So, you know, if, uh, if I seem a little different, I'll probably end up getting a little tired. And, you know, who knows what I'll say. So I got the almond milks. Then I have some... Red potatoes, which are going to be for the chicken meal. I have three pounds of red potatoes. I have some mushrooms, which are going to be for the beef meal. Two pounds of broccoli, which are, which will be for the beef meal. I have some baby carrots. One pound, which is for the chicken meal. I have some sugar snap peas for the chicken meal. I have some Granny Smith apples. I have some garlic, which is for both meals. I have some bananas. There's the receipt. I have a container of cottage cheese, low fat, a container of cottage cheese, 4% fat. I have some cornstarch, which is for the beef meal. Um, I looked for, I think they make like an oatmeal starch, maybe, I don't even know. They have like a rice starch, I know that. I looked for it, I couldn't find it, so I got the corn starch. The other starches may have been a little bit healthier, I mean, it's not even that bad though, so it's fine. I have some beef broth. I did get the uh, less sodium, the 50% less sodium one, because I didn't want all the extra sodium, and it's for my beef meal. I have some, I have five. Greek light yogurts. I have a bag of jasmine rice, which will be for the beef meal. I have the recipe called for, I think like a pound of beef. I got one, over one, over one. I got about three and a half pounds of beef. And that's for the beef meal. Obviously, um, I needed to up the recipe because it just wasn't enough for five meals. So, I had to make some adjustments. Then I have some chicken, which will be for the chicken meal. So like I said, I'm gonna do a crock pot chicken, I'm gonna do a crock pot beef style meal. So, but I also said in previous ones that I was gonna do, you know, like a seasonal type item or food or recipe, whatever you want to call it. So this week, since it's, you know, Halloween, it's the fall, I went ahead and got some limited time Krispy Kreme Junior's pumpkin spice donuts. These will be delicious. I'm excited for them. That is the seasonal item for this week. And the total came out to 
74 79 like I said I think I'll take a screenshot of this and I'll put it on the website so you guys can see all the groceries but now let's get into the prep portion the cornstarch to the the beef that's supposed to like thicken it up apparently I was supposed to add the broccoli when I added the cornstarch which was like 30 minutes ago but because I put all the beef in the bottom of the crock pot and then I put the broccoli on top it cooked the beef more than it cooked the broccoli so it still worked out fine I don't always do it maybe the proper way but all the food is still getting cooked it's all still getting done and it tastes fine in the end it's the end result, I, I feel like, anyways. And you know what, it's done. So whether I added it before or added it after, it worked out. But I'm not gonna package up tonight. I'll package it up tomorrow. I still have to do the rice. It's late. I'm just gonna take them out of there, let them cool for a little bit, and then put them in the fridge, and get them out tomorrow and package it up. So I'll just see you guys in the morning. So for dinner, I'm gonna do a cup to a little bit over a cup of the jasmine rice with the beef and broccoli and mushrooms. I have five of those meals. For lunch, I'm gonna do seven to eight ounces of chicken and some potatoes, carrots, and uh, snap peas. And I have five of those meals. So for breaking down these macros for like the beef and the broccoli, I'm just going to, you know, divide the servings and in then into five meals and calculate calculate the macros 
that way because I didn't weigh anything out. And for the chicken, I weighed the chicken out, but I didn't weigh the the potatoes. So again, I'll just take the, what was it? It was a three pound bag of potatoes. So I'll just divide that by five meals. Well, I can't even divide it by five meals because I have, it's hard to see, but there's some leftover in there. And then I have a very, very little bit of beef and broccoli in there because I prepped on Saturday, today is Sunday, it's Sunday morning, I made the rice this morning, and I put it all in the containers, and then, and I still need meals for today, so I have some leftover food I can eat today. And I'm also not gonna waste the broth, or the marinade, whatever you wanna call it, the sauce, I don't know what you wanna call it, um, for the chicken or for the beef, I'll probably put a little bit, not all of it, into separate containers so that when I either reheat this or make it, I can add some of that sauce, which will hopefully add some more moisture back to it and add more flavor as well. Like I said, I didn't make it perfectly, but it all came out good, it seems. Nothing seems mushy. You never want the stuff to be mushy, and nothing seems mushy. The vegetables don't seem mushy, even though I put them in probably a little bit early. But I learned for next time, so. That is this week's prep. Now I need to put the lids on, throw them in the fridge, and eat some breakfast and get to the gym. But that'll be another video. This weekly meal prep video is over. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.